another side to the conflict here, because over the weekend, the city of Belgorod, which is not far from the border with Ukraine, was hit by what Russia says was a missile strike. It was the first time the city in Russia had been damaged since the start of the war. But as our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg, found out, few of the people there are actually linking the two events. The Kremlin promised its special operation in Ukraine would make Russia safer. But in Belgorod, there's little sign of safer. This was the city early on Sunday. Russia accused Ukraine of a missile attack. Ukrainian officials deny it. But at least four civilians were killed in an explosion. And many buildings were damaged. This is not destruction on the scale of Ukraine, where thousands of civilians have been killed since Russia invaded. But there is anger here. We should have fired a missile right back at Kiev, Vadim says. That would have made them think. I ask Knarik if this had happened before. What, in the city centre? Of course not, she says. We need to take harsher measures. I've been wondering, why is it that so many people here don't join the dots? They don't make the connection between Russia invading Ukraine and their lives here becoming less safe. I think it's partly because the Russian state media does all it can to prevent those dots from being joined in people's minds. But also many Russians simply don't want to believe that their country started this, that Russia is the aggressor. But now, a call for peace from the Orthodox Church. Metropolitan Iwan of Belgorod has issued a statement saying it's time to turn swords into plowshares and that he's praying for an end to the bloodshed in Ukraine that has now come to Russian homes too. Prayers are one thing, the political will to make peace, well that's another. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Belgorod.